Hello there, this is Vasudev here again, Product Planner for Power Solutions in the Tectonics Co. product line. Today we are going to talk about power supply rejection ratio, an important parameter of qualifying how good the DC-DC converter is. Basically, power supply rejection ratio looks at how good the converter, the DC-DC converter rejects the AC ripple going out Theoretically, it should be zero, but practically we all know there will be a small amount of uh, AC ripple going out. Here we have used a MSO 5 or 6 series with built-in AFG or an external AFG. We use the commercial available uh, injection transformer, uh, in this case uh, an Pico Test uh, J2120A injection transformer is used. A typical setup, as you can see here, the oscilloscope is now converted into a frequency response analyzer, particularly power supply rejection ratio measurement analysis uh, tool. We use the TPP0502 probes, the recommended probes for the frequency response analysis. The modulated AC plus DC signal is fed into the demo board here from PICO test and we are capturing both the input and the output AC ripple components to calculate the rejection ratio. The injection uh, transformer, the J2120A, uh, is very much suited as it combines the DC and the AFG input AC plus DC to be fed and, and is powered by the Keatley power supply. The output of the 5 or 6 series MSO optional AFG output is fed into uh, through the injection transformer to the DUT and on the power uh, measurement tab we have the PSRR and the capabilities are exactly the same as we saw in the control loop response. You can have the start stop frequencies uh, and get the entire process done automatically. The software takes control of it. As the sweep happens from the start frequency to stop frequency uh, based on the amplitude you have set, the oscilloscope is now converted into a PSRR measurement capable solution with the x-axis as frequency and the y-axis as the rejection ratio of uh, input ripple to output ripple. So as it sweeps, the software plots the minimum and maximum values of the power supply rejection ratio. You get to see how good your DC-DC converter performance is and make changes to the design as you can now also see the waveforms, the analog waveforms that is going into your DC-DC converter, both the modulated input signal of AC-DC and the output of your DC-DC converter. The results table gives you the ability to look at uh, all the details at various frequencies and the rejection ratios at each of those frequency points and with the cursors enabled you can now see what the rejection values were at a specific frequency. All of this can be saved into a report format in HTML or PDF format uh, and you can see all the details there including the results table and the plots captured. Uh, make it an effective, complete one-box solution tool for power design engineers. So the new measurement, power supply rejection ratio, uh, is a good measurement for DC-DC converter qualification. And in summary, we have got a one-box solution with the built-in AFG or an external AFG 31000 series using the commercially available injection transformers. For any more details, please contact me, Vasudev, or my colleague, Gajendra Patro. Thank you very much.